All right, so welcome back to Kerbal Space Program, the hardest career series. Today's episode, I'm going to be launching the latest of our Tyros satellites. This is Tyros 7. I've already done Tyros 1 through 6. 1 was an, a contract in Mission Control, which I've already done. 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 were not contracts. It does off my own self, as in just did them. Just for the, uh, the fun of it. Number seven is a contract. We have to have slightly more capable spacecraft than the uh, previous six versions. So we've got two or seven on pad A and two or seven A on pad B, just in case something goes wrong with the first launch. I'm going to head into the VAB and show you very, very quickly what we're going to be doing today. The spacecraft and the booster, which is the Bedstone 2. Now, the previous Mercury launches were with the uh, Bedstone 1 and the X, the extended version. This is the first time we launched with the Bedstone 2. Okay, so Tyros 7. Well, Tyros 7 was the first weather satellite series on Earth and it stood for Television Infrared Observational Satellite. So as such, it says infrared, so I've put this camera it has got thermal imaging as well as night vision as well, which is um, called Green Lens Technology. Now, we, for the contract, we need 600, uh, 600 electric charge, a science package, and solar cells was an antenna. Doesn't stipulate anything about a camera, which is a bit strange because uh, that's basically what the two of us were. There were orbiting satellites with cameras attached. We've got about 1400 Delta V on the spacecraft itself in the form of an RCS thruster again. Actually very handy those things. 1400.92 TWR, it's not too bad. Okay, so the booster is the next version of the Bedstone. The second stage is exactly the same. But the first stage is slightly operated Merlin engine, along with the verniers, which gives us a decent TW out the pad of 1.18. And even inside the atmosphere, we've got nearly 5,000 delta V, so we're not going to be struggling for delta V, that is for sure, or TWR. Okay, so hence the reason why we don't need any boosters, we don't need any strap on boosters. Okay, so that's that. So I'm going to head to uh, Pad A and begin today's mission. Okay, so first stage is gone on the second stage. Okay, gonna follow Progrid. About 40 kilometers now to and let the uh, fairing go. We're not going to get any of these parts back because there's nothing, as I said, in the VAB. There's no point adding them on. You had too much mass adding parachutes on to get things back. It's just not worth it. I'm going to stop at about 80 kilometres on the periaps on the apoapsis, sorry, on the apogee. Then we shall coast to the apoapsis itself. And then begin to circularize. 
Okay, 80 kilometers. Can't deploy the uh, antenna. Not just yet. Because both the extendable extend uh, both the extendable antennas underneath. Okay. 63 64 kilometers. So we'll re-engage the second stage and cyclarize once we get to uh, about 30 seconds away from the apogee. Okay, so cyclarized 90 by about 80 kilometers. It's not too bad. Let's check the uh, contract. Now this may have automatically completed because we did the Mercury while I still had the contract in the background. So sometimes some contracts can lock onto the wrong spacecraft, but it should be fine. Yeah, so there we go. But uh, we are still going to stay in a day. This spacecraft's going to be up here for a lot longer than a day. So that's completed. Yeah, that's fine. That's his first stage. So we've got finishing it off 35,100. Two sides of 18 repetitions. That's a lesson to be learned. Don't take a contract unless you actually want to actually do it right there and then. Because if it's in the background, sometimes you spacecraft which are completely and utterly irrelevant, completely different mission. Your contract can actually lock onto it. Never mind. Not a problem. So we've still got 1746 meters per second left in this second stage. We can't use it. It's a low orbital observation satellite, it's not high orbit. Okay, so we'll go radial in. Don't think we need to mod modify the uh, the orbit. Seems to be okay. Okay, okay. I'll have to wait till we get into contact now. Now this is supposed to turn, but if we turn with a fixed camera. We'll get a rather dizzy sort of gene in mission control and start complaining. So I'll lack one crucial part, and that is a rotatortron to act as a bearing. Because originally, the uh, observation satellites, these base plate would spin. Whereas a camera mounting plate wouldn't, because it had the uh, contra-rotating bearing between it between the camera plate and the base plate which would spin stabilize the spacecraft i can't do those right now but i need to get the contract out of the way but we will i will definitely do a future version of the tiros with that particular configuration Yeah, we'll have to wait till we're getting back into contact. Once we're in contact, we shall deploy the antenna. Take a look through the um, camera. Let Gene play on the camera for a bit. And we'll try and see if we get anything from this mass spectrometry tube while in orbit. Like I said before, I've never used this in orbit. So I'll be surprised if I get anything off it. Nice surprise if I do, but I'm not expecting to get anything off it. It's just to complete the contract requirement for a uh, scientific piece of equipment on the spacecraft and that was the only one that really looked the part to be perfectly honest okay so wait till we get into contact okay so back in contact we shall deploy these as soon as the auto save there we go auto save again uh, extend yeah i didn't put these on an action groups key where's the other one? Oh, there Because this is always deployed, doesn't need to be switched on or anything. Don't know why it's not on rigid detachment, but never mind. I'm getting plenty of electric charge anyway, so. 
Yeah, there we go. So land X-ray search. Never mind. Never mind. It still looks good. It's just pity you. Well, that's cables, isn't it? You know, putting ground experiments on a orbiting spacecraft. So at some point, I do have a contract to actually to actually take this into orbit and then land back on Kerbin. So something like this with undercarriage, maybe, might be able to do that. Although we don't have enough TWR with this, this thruster. So I don't think we have. We won't know with that, will we? Take a very quick look, see how much TWR we've actually got. One point... Yeah, that's in orbit, 1.2. I think once we're, once we're inside the atmosphere, we're going to uh, lose that 1.2 TWR. No doubt. We can try something like this beef again, obviously. Like I said, I'm going to I'm gonna carry on doing Tyros spacecraft. The next one will have the Rotatortron, though. So I can actually do it justice. Okay, Gene, I'm going to play with your cameras now. No, unfortunately, it seems we, we seem to be having difficulty with the uh, the camera. It seems to uh, have failed, which isn't very good. So I should have put more than one camera on it, obviously. Yeah, that is. Uh... Okay, let's have a quick look. Not out to be very successful this mission. So we've got the camera off. Okay, so I've also got a failure. Yeah, so it looks like we failed. So I've got a camera failure. It could be out of range. And also, it may also be the fact that we don't have enough bandwidth with these antennas. It's only for narrow band and not full broadband. So it could need more bandwidth basically that's unfortunate oh dear oh well what a learn lessons so that's the uh, scientific package is for ground deployment only and this camera doesn't seem to be wanting to work while in orbit and yeah it was working on the on the rovers fine so I've tested and we've also done one on Minmus. And it was working fine there. Unfortunately, it seems to want to work in this uh, particular environment. Disappointing. Oh well, we've completed the contract and we've got 35 down, along with all the rest of the uh, requirements for the contract. But we shall have to improve on it for the next Tyros mission. Okay, let's head back to the space centre. We'll leave this in orbit. Well, it's an orbit. It's still useful. Maybe it's only just to bounce signals off. Okay, we'll head back to Space Center. Okay, so back at the Space Center. So that was rather disappointing. I understand why the mass spectrometry tube doesn't work except on land, as on the surface of a planet or a moon. But the uh, camera should really be able to work while in orbit as well as on the surface. I don't get what that's about. Because that's actually a specialist camera for science gathering. So maybe it only works on the surface. Can't see why it would. But never mind. These things happen. Okay, so. Coming up in the next episode we have the Redstones 2 launch vehicle boosted Mercury's 4 and 5. Now the contract for those will be, we'll be attempting but the first rendezvous in Kerbin orbit. So they're uh, well there's Jeb, Valentina and Rayson. They're trying to decide who's actually going to uh, fly those two missions. Alright, but that's the end of this episode. That's the end of Tyros 7. I will continue on with the Tyros program once I can get the special part I need to actually do justice to actual real world spacecraft, the Tyros spacecraft. That was actually launched from Earth. That was the world's first weather satellite, so I will continue with that particular program. However, that's the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to click like it. It's appreciated. 
don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you do enjoy the content and also don't forget to uh, share that does help tremendously and is uh, very much appreciated and don't forget we also have discord facebook and twitter you find it to all three of those platforms on the banner on the front page of the channel i am more active on twitter nowadays and i actually post some of my uh, progression on my next batch of videos in various series on the channel on there as well all right obviously if you want to leave a comment or ask a question on any of the videos you're more than welcome to do so as always all right so once again thank you for watching i'll see you in the very next episode where we'll be conducting mercury's four and five hopefully successfully rendezvousing for the first time in kirby orbit however for the time being until next time take care bye bye